Hey guys, we're gonna go intro to Philemon. We're gonna be going through Philemon in our next few devotionals. Like, our next few weeks. Yeah. So, this, so here's the four things you need to know about Philemon. I would have done five, but I couldn't find a fifth. You get what I'm saying here? So, it was written by Paul, obviously. Well, let me just just ah uh, there we go. It was written by Paul to a wealthy Christian named Philemon, and it was to persuade Philemon to receive his escaped slave named one 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 time one time whatever his name is. Os o spelled O N E S I M U S. That guy. And he, it was to receive his escaped slave, and that's his name, as a brother in Christ. Not as well a slave. You know, lock him in prison, don't do that. Like, receive him as a brother in Christ. Hugs. Hugs. <laughs> you get my point. So, and it was also, here's an interesting fact. It was written while Paul was in prison. And what's funny is he was being imprisoned. Because he was sharing the good news. But while he was in prison, he was able to share the good news with the guards of the prison. And write out a bunch of letters explaining the good news. So it was unhindered. That's a fancy word. Alright, so then it says... It was, it's a, so the last one is... Deals with forgiveness. Which is... Forgiving them of, the, of any wrong they've done to you. I think you know what this is fellowship you know the hugs part that and then freedom in Christ basically you're no longer a slave to sin you have the salvation and you're free in Christ and that's why they are equal in Christ therefore brothers in Christ and that's the argument that Paul is making so I can't wait to dive into Philemon with you. I'll see you on Wednesday. This is Tact. This is Thomas, signing out.